Our main event and it pitches a scintillating battle for the vacant lightweight title between Dublin's own notorious Conor McGregor and Slovakia's Ivan Buki Bushinger. There will be no warm welcome for the Slovakian as he steps onto hostile territory tonight against the current CWFC featherweight title holder. But the veteran of 24 fights will not let that phase him and he'll have to draw on all of his abilities to beat the SBG Island's notorious knockout artist to that lightweight gold. And the last fight was for the belt in Dublin. Oh, you take it. Big connection from Conor McGregor. Well, I was more eager to get in there and I was feeding off the crowd. And all the people back from Dublin get behind me. It's good to have that, that support, yeah. Oh, good oh, one, baby. too. My name is Ivan Buchinger. I am from Slovakia. My team is Octagon Fighting Bratislava. My speciality is wrestling jiu-jitsu. I definitely see a, a twin on this shoulder. And then who knows, you know what I mean? I'm just gonna keep positive and you know what I mean? The sky's the limit. My opponent is a very good fighter. Uh, stand up box on the uh, good offensive in ground. You know, he's 21 wins, three losses, he's experienced. I don't know much else, I've watched a little bit. I am happy for the chance, for this belt. Well, I think it'll give me a few exchanges. I think I'll have him hurt by the end of the first, and I think I'll have him out there second round. I think I win by submission. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived to the main event of the evening. Five scheduled rounds for the vacant CWFC Lightweight Championship of the World. And now making his way to the cage first, fighting out of the blue corner from Slovakia, Ivan Butchia. So here is our first challenger to the vacant lightweight title. It is Ivan Buki Bushinger from Slovakia and representing the Octagon Fighting Academy. He comes with a very impressive 21 and three record. He's a very well-rounded fighter with a black belt in karate and Greco-Roman wrestling credentials, which have helped him earn 12 submission victories and six TKOs. He went the distance with UFC fighter Anton Kuivainen. He took a year away from competition and he's back with a 3-0 record with one TKO against the very rated Diego Gonzalez at Cage Warriors. Two of those three losses that he's suffered in his career have been to UFC vets, so no shame there at all. Spent some time training at ATT, but he's a very popular guy in his home territories, Josh and a very legitimate contender for the title. I mean, this guy's a monster. There's no other way around it. He's got almost twice as many wins as uh, our current featherweight champion, Conor McGregor, who he faces tonight. This guy's European background is incredibly extensive. He's been in the top 10 in Europe for such a long time and really on the cusp of the big show for such a long time. He's on a three fight win streak, 12 of his 21 wins are by submission. You know what, people forget that. His last fight out, of course, he TKO'd Diego Gonzalez, got nominated for Cage Warriors Knockout of the Year. People forget this guy's a wrestler with incredibly good submissions. Most of those are chokes. How they work on uh, someone like Conor McGregor, though, who knows? It's a, it's a whole different ball game. But, you know, this Dublin crowd are certainly not making him feel very welcome. No, we saw nothing but the striking when he was last on Cage Warriors. But I reckon Krishinger will look to his wrestling skills against the dangerous knockout artist. McGregor and here is the challenger Ivan Buki Bushinger and next his opponent finding out of the red corner making his way to the cage tonight he looks to become the first Irishman to hold two world MMA titles at the same time he is Dublin's own Conor McGregor and that roar that's ringing around the helix is for the other challenger and our current featherweight champion, Conor McGregor. Add to that notorious Conor McGregor. He is representing SBG and comes with a record of 11 and two. He wanted Ivan Masado, the former lightweight champion, which would have mathematically 
made sense after he defeated Joseph Duffy. He's still hurting from that loss, but it didn't happen. He's got Ivan Bushinger, and I don't think that anything is going to stop McGregor from clinching that belt this evening. Yeah, God knows what you'd have to do in this arena to put Conor McGregor away. He was a scary fighter before he went and did his latest camp at Milnir in Iceland with the likes of UFC fighter Gunnar Nelson. Now he's come back. This guy is an entirely different animal. He's opened up his striking styles to so many more disciplines. We may even see some of that crazy capoeira he was throwing around in the ring during warm-ups. He's known as a striker. But people always underestimate his submissions and particularly his wrestling. He recently got his Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu purple belt uh, from John Kavanagh, competed at the Nogi European Championships at purple belt. So he's in there mixing it with some high-level grapplers. The big question, though, will his power carry over to the lightweight division? Very good point, Josh. And here is the featherweight champion and the other challenger for the lightweight belt, notorious Conor McGregor. And now, ladies and gentlemen, live around the world from the Helix here in Dublin, Ireland. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. The main event of the evening. Five rounds scheduled for the vacant CWFC Lightweight Championship of the World. The three judges scoring this bout at Kane side, Andy Sledge, Barry Oglesby, and Ben Cartledge. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Mark Gunner. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the judges are ready, the fighters are ready, the world is ready. Dublin, Ireland, make some noise if you are ready! Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is a mixed martial artist standing 5 feet 9 inches tall. Weighing in 155 pounds, this bred veteran brings an outstanding professional record consisting of 21 victories and just three defeats. Fighting out of Slovakia, here is Ivan Bukki And next is the opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. Also a mixed martial artist, he stands five feet, eight inches tall. Weighing in officially 155 pounds. He brings 11 wins and two losses into the cage. He is the final oh. pride, the native son of Dublin Ireland. He is the CWFC, reigning featherweight champion of the world, the notorious Connor. Hey gentlemen, you understand the rules you're fighting under. You listen to me, give yourself protected all the time. If I say stop, you stop. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. Let's do this. Oh wow, Josh. It really is here. Conor McGregor back on home turf. The cage door is set. Mark Goddard will be officiating this you one. You Conor McGregor in the blue. Ivan Bushinger in the white. Oh man, I'm on the edge of the seat for this one. Immediately, Conor McGregor pushing forward, wide open. Almost karate-like stance, front kicks coming in. To push in his midsection and immediately opening up. Conor looking so settled already. And that's that capoeira style of striking that he's been using. He's Whoa. mixing everything up so nicely, really taking Bushinger by surprise. Yeah, Bushinger had a lot of time in his last fight here on Cage Warriors to settle into the match. Conor McGregor's given him nothing here. However, has he got this grip on McGregor's neck on the way down? He's certainly trying to climb high. Well, Bushinger's been looking exceedingly calm over the last couple of days. Uh, eerily so. But uh, he, he's, he's going to need to have everything about him as he takes on a very dangerous... Irishman in notorious Conor McGregor. Yeah, I mean, he's going to have faced guys who want to play that gamesmanship before. You know, 21 and 3, extremely experienced, been around a very long time, although he's still relatively young, to be fair to him. But, uh, you know, Conor McGregor is, is trying to take it to another level here in Dublin, but Bushinger very 
succinctly back to his feet. Well, Anton Kuivainen couldn't put him away. And he is a huge man with awesome power. Well, well that's it. Bushinger has been stopped once in 24 fights, and that was a, a freak flash 20-second KO. You know, Conor McGregor's going to have to do something to put him away here. It's not a walk in the park. Well, he's teeing off on him at the moment. McGregor with the southpaw stance, beckoning on his foe. Good check from McGregor. Everything he throws is plus 80%. He's such a gentleman out of the cage, but he's a oh. machine of destruction inside. Nice combination from pushing her. Outside, that outside. left was so very well executed. He's got a very good boxing style. Bushinger throwing a few outside left low kicks, following up with jabs nicely. Wow, hat and speed, I think, is the uh, two words you need to know about there. With Bushinger's legs looks a tad wobbly as McGregor connected. He's chosen to drive himself up against the frame of McGregor. One of the nice things McGregor said in, in a few interviews, he said, I'm not going to get him out of there in the first. It's not going to be that easy, but I've got the confidence to think I might get him out of there in the second which is, uh, you know, sort of a measured sense of confidence, which I rather like. McGregor's also got a packed hall here in Dublin, right behind him, cheering on every single one of his movements, all of his twitches, in fact. This first round was always going to be a bit of a stern test. If <laughs> Wow. That's something that, that is I've something, never yeah. seen before. <laughs> Well, that was an incredible kick to the knee and huge left hook from McGregor as Bushinger surges in. Bushinger's walking onto the punch. That's what created it. And that left is getting through. It's like a piston spearing through the Dublin air straight onto the chin of Ivan Bushinger. And, and it's having a home repeatedly. How oh. very tough is Bushinger? Shot. Wow. Bushinger is completely out of it. What a what spectacular a knockout by Conor McGregor as we are bombarded with his fans okay. around the commentary position. Covered in rather a lot of beer as well, John. Ivan Bushinger is in some real trouble. And Conor McGregor looks almost like a Viking. He's taken some of that Icelandic fury and wow. brought it to the cage. It was a very well put together fight indeed. And I'm looking quite nervous as I stare <laughs> up at Conor McGregor. Last time I took a knee for my troubles. What a performance. Faultless performance by Conor McGregor against a very seasoned opponent, a highly skilled striker and wrestler. McGregor was not troubled for one second. While we take a breath, let's get these replays rolling. Hey, hey, this fucking shit. Fucking That's McGregor with the wrestling, shoots in on the hips, and it's a straight left within range. There's an uppercut, the hook, everything is thrown with such power and such crisp technique, and that is a hugely devastating hook shot. He he didn't even put the whole of his body into that. He touched the chin and Bushinger went tumbling. Let's throw it to Joe to make it all official. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes. Three minutes, 40 seconds, round number one. Your winner by KO victory. And now, a two division CWFC world champion, the notorious Connor. McGregor stands as champion at two weight classes. Really a dream come true. Let's hear what he's got to say. I'm here with our winner, Conor McGregor. Conor, featherweight world champion, lightweight world champion. How are you feeling? I feel real good, yeah? Talking. The support that we're here, unbelievable every time. The Irish guys, the, the, the Dublin people there, uh, really get behind me and support me. And, I'm just happy to come out and put on a show for everyone. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, feel good. I, I said as you were walking into the cage, you were scary before you did your last camp in Iceland. Yeah. 
Now you're just frightening. What's that camp in Iceland done for you? It's not even a camp. It's just, just, it's just a different approach, you know. Everything, it's all mental and it's a good place to be. There was no distractions. And, but the guys back home, all the teammates in SBG and all, and everywhere. It's, just, it's great, yeah. Just training hard and it all pays off with the win, you know. Ivan's a tough guy. Yeah. Tough, tough guy, so I'm happy with the, happy with the win. You showed us a few things in this fight that I've never seen before. The kick behind the leg to the knee. Yeah. What have you been doing with adding other striking styles to your boxing? I'm just, I'm just trying to learn every, every, every day, you know. I'm trying every style. I had a few other little shots I wanted to try, but... Just, I finished them with old school, old school boxing, you know. Slip that right hand, bang that right hook, bang that left hook over the top. This, this might seem like a stupid question, but with this crowd on this night, what would it have taken? To, what would it have taken to stop you? Is it possible? It's not possible. No, I'm unstoppable. Thanks everyone for coming out. I'm glad I could get this with you. Yeah. Happy year. Happy New Year 2013. A big year for everyone in here. Yeah. Come on. Talking of 2013, Connor. 2012 has got to be one of the best years for your career so far. <clears throat> 2013. What's in store for you? Who knows? Uh, whether the big contract will come with the big money for the big show, who knows? I'll just take it day by day. I know uh, I want to compete in the Europeans, the, no or the Jiu Jitsu Europeans in Portugal at the end of this month. So we'll see what happens. That's, that's what's next competition wise for me anyway, in the, the European Championships, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Well, excellent, Connor. Two world titles for you. I think the, cr I think the crowd here want to hear one more word from you about what it's like to fight in front of them. Oh, man, it's. I, words can't describe what kind of feelings you get when you, you know, this, this sport is a grind. It's, you're, you're training day in, day out. And the money's not great and all, not, not yet it isn't anyway, you know. So to come out here and hear everyone support me and I uh, can't even put into words what I'm feeling. So thanks everyone uh, for coming out, yeah? I'm going to say this slowly and let you savor it, Connor. Cage Warriors featherweight world champion and Cage Warriors lightweight world champion. Ladies and gentlemen, Connor, the notorious McGregor!